it's not that hard to sing. Like, at least no. in that third verse, let them each have one line. Let me! <laughs> <laughs> and then the final chorus gets almost a little ethereal and dreamy, which, you know, I guess that's when you're, like, super drunk. That's when you're kind of just like, ooh. Yeah, I think vocal delivery and the way their, their voices sound as a group or even separately, mm -hmm. ooh, strong vocals. Viewer discretion is advised. Your fave will be criticized. That's Chris. That's Shan. And you are watching CTTV, the nonstop pop show. And it's time for Pop Off, the ultimate music showdown featuring Robin and Tint's girl groups. Looking for an awesome global pop music podcast? Chris and I have the inside scoop with extensive experience performing on stage and working at record labels. We review and deep dive into your favorite artists' songs and careers and also interview music industry professionals, including artists, producers, choreographers, and everything in between. And you can also join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash pops and become a part of our amazing crew, including our producers, Lily, Lisette, Emily, Kevin, and Juliet. Subscribe now and let's explore the world of pop music together. And we're so excited to do another pop-off round. It's always fun to hear all of your comments as well because, you know, yeah. music is fun because we all have different opinions, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, looking at you with a bopping fan. <laughs> so anyway, so Pop Off is a segment here on CCTV where we take some tracks, compare the songs, videos, and performances, and pick our favorites in each category. And then we each choose an ultimate winner as well. And again, this is for pure fun, so please don't take it too seriously. Ooh. And make sure to hit that follow or subscribe button because we have a lot of fun Pop Offs planned moving forward too. So today we're taking a look at choreographer and entrepreneur Robin Anton. Before we get started, we must talk about the mother of the girl group vampire herself. Robin Anton is a dancer, choreographer, and entrepreneur who started the Pussycat Dolls in 1995. Not the girl group that we all know and love, but a modern burlesque group. And there has been a lot of drama with this group from burlesque to pop to now. And if you'd like to learn more, go check out our Pop 101 episode all about PCD. And from this franchise, she went on to create not only a few more girl groups, but a television series, a Las Vegas nightclub, and a clothing line. So again, I think it is kind of an empire a little bit, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and though she was not in the lineup of the Pussycat Dolls, she made herself known as the business mind and creative leader behind the concept. All right, so let's get into our pop-off. We're going to take a look at the biggest singles by her four girl groups, the Pussycat Dolls, Girlicious, GRL, and Paradiso Girls. So let's get ready to rumble! Round one. First in the ring are the Pussycat Dolls with Don't Ya, featuring Buster Rhymes. Player one. Written by Buster Rhymes and CeeLo Green and including a Sir Mix-a-Lot sample, the song was originally released by Tori Alamez as her debut single in 2004. After lackluster success, the song was offered to the Pussycat Dolls. Following its release in April 2005, the song achieved massive global success and is often referenced as one of the best girl group songs of all time. So let's talk about the song first, uh, the production, the vocals. What do you think? You know, this is a good song. Instant hit. I remember liking it when I first heard it when I was young. Like, I was such a baby. Um, Not that much of a baby. You know, I was old enough to know, to know that, don't you wish your girlfriend was, don't you wish your girl. Had no business singing it whatsoever, you know? Uh, <laughs> as much as, I don't think any of us had any business singing this song. <laughs> Except them, right? Um, I think this song is so fun and sassy. It's the kind, this kind of pop music now would be so frowned upon because it's not serious and it stinks because it's fun. Like, like if I think of, I think of this song as almost like a really flirty, like girl group version of an if, because if is like intense and it's mm. like very like, mm. this one's like mm -hmm, a little kind of cool. I like, listen, babe, listen, I know you like me, but lust isn't a good reason to, you know, come over here i like the second verse i will say that i appreciate the second verse appreciate the second verse saying like listen stay with your girl lust is not a reason to leave but then the line about not caring about sharing comes around and then whoop the generosity is tossed out the window it's like listen <laughs> i don't care but i know what she ain't gonna want but she, when she said that i was like oh okay and then i go don't you wish your girlfriend was <laughs> like 
So yeah, I, I think that was cute. And then the whole maybe next lifetime. So I think there was a little bit of a push and pull in terms of like lyrical composition mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like, yeah, I'm hot. You see me. But also, don't do that to your girlfriend because I'm not a homewrecker. <laughs> you want to try the thruple thing? Yeah. Um, one thing I do not like about the song is that you can hear CeeLo. It's so funny that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, why is he still there? Come on, CeeLo. Why are you in there, man? Come on. <laughs> something i don't like i just cannot that's like my kind of like gripe with the song and also shout out to them for being able to get buster rhymes like he was a hot like rapper at the mm. time like jaw rule him 50 cent um i think ti was like kind of coming up but not he wasn't hitting his spot at the moment mm -hmm. but yeah kudos for them for getting bust a bus you know so mm -hmm. and his verse is so good too i uh <laughs> such a good flow and then the original bridge of the song is like meh so yeah. That was the right choice to get a feature there. <laughs> um, but we'll talk about that bridge because they do perform it. So we'll get there oh in round three. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I agree. The song is a perfect pop track. And I think I had said in the Pop 101 that it still sounds quite current. Like it could very easily be released today in its form. And it's like uh -huh. current form and would mm -hmm. totally still be a hit, I think. And, and yeah, it's super, super catchy. The call and response is so fun in those verses. Yeah. Uh, and that beat. It's pretty the drum amazing. The is iconic. It's really hard not to strut a little whenever yeah. this song comes on, uh, yeah. which is dangerous when you're walking around New York City. All right. <laughs> um, but there are some really nice flourishes in the production, actually. I love all the little percussion. I like the guitar mm. strums that come in and out. The DJ scratches, of course, that, you know, what they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, the wiry synth as well, the horns in the yeah. chorus. Uh, so, yeah, really, really good. What do you think of the vocals other than CeeLo? <laughs> um i think they're think she's good <laughs> i think <laughs> okay here's the thing i think melody is actually there for the don't you wish you? i think really? she might be at she might be on some yeah carmeet might be in some of the lows Carmi too. too yeah because yeah, yeah. i was i was thinking about like third round we're not there yet performance wise watching them sing it live i'm like oh there's that tone because i'm like that's not just nicole yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Even though probably eight of those layers are her. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it's, it just stinks. When you're doing like a group, a group vocal and you're like trying to make a comp vocal of all these takes, you get the best one because you have like vocalists that are actually in your group. Again, watch our Pop 101. It stinks that you went from being the main vocal to being a sub vocal to be like, mm -hmm. you know, the extra one because you're sitting there hitting live crazy notes. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Nicole's delivery is great. Um, the yeah. original, the original was absolutely sassy, obviously, because the black woman was singing. She was singing it. She wasn't just singing. She was, oh no, you not. She was going in, and I think Nicole followed it to the letter. And in, in the from the demo, I will say that she copied it, but she doesn't sound like she's putting on a black scent, which mm. I appreciate. I don't know. It sounds like a little bit more of a um, drawl in a sense. It's breathy, and even when she performs it. It still translate pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I cannot wait to get to the performance side because she does <laughs> stuff in the vocals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't there yet. I agree with you. I think her execution is pretty flawless, actually. You yeah. know, it's relaxed, but it's sexy, it's sultry, and there's a lot of attitude when mm -hmm. needed, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even though the verses are a little samey, right? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Da -da. You know, like, it's just like, even the third yeah. verse after the rap is still oh God, that yes. same kind of energy, but she gives something different in each line. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, you know, I love a girl group, right? And so <laughs> the fact that there's three members that aren't even on the song, when the song is not hard to sing. No. You know, and like we've heard, uh, I think Jessica has performed it. I've seen Carmeet perform it solo. I'm sure Ashley, I'm sure they all have probably at different oh gigs and stuff. Yeah. It's not that hard to sing. Like at least no. in that third verse, let them each have one line. You yeah, know? that's what gets on my nerves. Uh, what yeah. is that? And that will annoy me always, you know? Yes, so yeah. I cannot give the vocals a 10 despite how great nicole sounds because they're a group so yeah let's move on to the next player <laughs> we have girlicious with like me player two and this one was released in april 2008 following the conclusion of the cw reality show pussycat dolls present girlicious which documented the group's formation and like me was done by phalon alexander 
Esther Dean, Cedric Williams, and Jazzy Fay. And it only got to number two on Billboard's Bubbling Under chart, but it did manage to reach number four on the Canadian Hot 100. So at least it did well somewhere. <laughs> oh, that explains why they went to um, Canada to perform it, actually. Yeah, I think I think with their second album, it was like only released in Canada. Like, I think their record deal turned into Canada only, which is why America still does not have this album on streaming, which is criminal because second album's actually really good. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I would have not. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I'm surprised they didn't have Jazzy Faye like um, come around with his ladies and gentlemen back in the day because of him and Pilo actually worked together. No. Oh. Yeah, on a song together like years ago. But um, yeah, what do you what do you think about the song? Because like you said, it is absolutely criminal because they actually were like, like good for the time. Like we weren't yeah, like sick I mean, of first off, yet. I think we both watched the show, right? Yeah. I loved that show. Like, I yeah. loved all the girl group formation stuff. So this was right up my alley. This yes. one definitely was. There was a lot of patty drama in this one so oh, yes. i remember yes, yes, yes. these four are not liking each other right so right. when they all got in the group it was already kind of like i don't know if they're gonna last um, but you know talent wise though the four of them are great i will say uh yes. the song is awesome i think you can tell that don't you was kind of the brief like if you look at a lot of the songs <laughs> on pcd beep you know, all of those, it has the same kind of energy to it. So you can kind of mm. hear what they were going for. It has that sassiness. It has that super strong beat. Um, lyrically, though, this time it's directed at another woman. So that's yes. different. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think the production is okay on this. Like, it does have an energy, and it also does inspire a strut. Not as big a strut as Don't Ship, but still a strut. Uh but I have to say, listening to it super closely, which actually I haven't done in years, mm -hmm. a lot of it does sound just like a loop. Like there's not many deviations that happen throughout it. You get a little bit of a pullback for that last section of the chorus. And then there's some tension building in that bridge. But otherwise, the whole thing is just looped over and over again for the entire yeah. song, which isn't great. Um, and then also the mixing is terrible. I don't know if that's just the version that's currently now on streaming. But it's super uh -oh. muddled because everything seems really yeah. pushed forward and it's very loud. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. so I that really that's sucks for great. them. Uh, I will say vocally, though, I do appreciate now all the members do have their own moments. Then uh, they all actually have very unique tones. Like I, I think on the entire project, both the yeah. first album and the second album, you can yeah. pretty much always tell the three of them completely apart, which is good. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, there's just a ton of attitude. There's some nice ad libs there. There's definitely, they're definitely pushing really hard um, in it. <laughs> and I think that was clearly directed by Robin because they kind of do that in everything with this song. But um, I don't think that's a bad thing because I think the song has a lot of attitude. So it's giving that. Uh, yeah. And there are some nice little harmonies in there and some different members taking lead in different parts of the chorus and stuff. So I enjoy it. What do you think? I remember coming home from school to watch this show, this part patient. I was like with bated breath. But, you yeah, know, I, I think this was an interesting song in terms of like direction because it wasn't a pussycat girl, pussycat girl, pussycat doll, like spinoff completely, which I appreciate. They actually tried to match the soundscape of the music at the time. And like hip hop and R&B was coming up now. Um, Sierra had just hit her prime, was mm. starting to do like fantasy right around the time, right? Like 2008, yeah. But yeah, anyway, she had just come off working with Jazzy Faye, which is, he they kind of split up after that, after the Evolution album. So when they got together, I was like, Jazzy Faye, you got a product shizzle from Jazzy and ladies and gentlemen. And he said it in here, this too. That's his tag. Okay, murder on the beast. It was not nice. We had ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's really impressive to kind of get that uh, crunk pop sound. I like that part. So my ears mm. are already kind of like ready to hear it when I was younger. And I was like, oh, this is, oh, yeah. Oh, and the attitude is there. I will admit with the, the beginning, like tagline, the you, you, I thought they were saying, do you, do you, hey, do you? Like, like, like do you want to be me? Like, keep watching. Watch. <laughs> I kind of like that. Thank you. Me too. God. Yo, you, yo, you. I'm like, I don't, okay, sure. Um. But yeah, no, I, again, I do appreciate the the attempt to make things sound sonically more R&B because Tiffany, like me, <laughs> 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 don't know why I talked to Tiffany because she was sitting there taking him to church in that, in that, mm -hmm. that back end of the song. 
And um, I will say the drums in this song kind of remind me of like Teach Me How to Dougie. That doom, tch, doom, oh, doom. yes. <laughs> yeah. So I like th there's influences. So I appreciate it. Um, I do. I'm not going to lie. The lyrics about the girls that ain't like me thing, it, it's probably not as appreciated now because everyone's like, we have to love each other. We're women and feminists. And yeah. I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> but here's the thing, girl, be yourself. Don't be me. Don't do it. You can succeed. Just don't do it by being me. So I totally get that. And it's also pretty, it's, it's still prevalent and still happens in hip hop and R&B now. So like this kind of rhetoric and lyricism, I don't find it personally like, oh my God, how could they possibly say it? Believe me, if you're listening to this, you've met someone that's just doing the utmost. You're like, can you just go, 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 go? And I think the song does it in a nice way where it's not like she's a, I appreciate they don't say she's a H-O-E. They don't say she's a B word. It's just like, she's trying to do like me. She's trying to shake her booty like me. She's not doing it like me. She wish she was fine like me. And it happens, you know? They just didn't say she was a hater. Had, she, had they said she was a hater, maybe people would, maybe would be like, oh yeah, you tell that girl off. But um, this is not <laughs> like just like bullying this poor girl. Right. It's coming across as like <laughs> it's coming across as you want to be like me. Huh? And, it, you know, mm, yeah, sure you're not as first. good as me. You're not right. cute. You're not like it's <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> right. Exactly. So I think that's the kind of like roughness with it. But again, like you were like hip hop now, like with Lotto and Cardi B's verse on there on that song. I was like, dang, girl, I don't know whose neck you're trying to step on, but get off. <laughs> that's kind of what that song is kind of trying to do. Um, but again, again, I think it's it's a pretty decent song. I think Natalie's hilarious. Cause I'm a hottie and this a party. <laughs> Not party, potty. Um, and I do appreciate, even though the instrument still does loop a lot, there are some there are there are some ad libs that kind of like the mm -hmm. um that kind of get like a extra like harmony on top or something happens, but the mix is way too forward. I don't know who the heck did it. God mm -hmm. Jesus. Um, but th honestly, that was the style back in the day. Have that crap be super loud, and then you're like, "Where's where's the production? What's going on? What's what's?" I don't know why they thought that was okay, but uh, mm. but yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. Yeah, and I love the little exhale at the end. Ooh, Ooh. it's super yeah. fun. Up next is Paradiso Girls with Patron Tequila featuring a Little John and Eve. Player three. So Robin wanted to recreate the magic and try to create an international group. With five members from different countries, she dubbed these girls the Paradiso Girls. <laughs> they released Patron Tequila in April 2009. And this song was done by Jamal Jones, Carrie Hilson, Esther Dean, Jay Smith, Jay Perry, Paul the Don, and Little John. And it was originally intended for Carrie Hilson's album, but was ultimately not included. And the song achieved Little success, peaking at number 82 in the Canadian Hot 100 and appearing on a few Billboard charts, including Dance Club Song and Heat Seekers. I was not really here for the Paradiso Curls, I'm going to be honest. Um, this mm. song is just not really for me. I kind of get what they were going for because, you know, you mm -hmm. kind of everything was about partying during that time oh in Western God, yeah. music more so, right? You had like the Black Eyed Peas um, and, mm. also, and yeah. vocally and melodically, this is giving like ting tings. <laughs> or like maybe even like Kesha. I know that Kesha maybe came out a little after this song, but it's that kind of bratty, kind of half yelling kind of style. Yeah. Uh, so I understand gonna... what they were yeah. going for. That yeah, was actually yeah. really funny. Though. I'm not going to um, lie. <laughs> yeah. You could definitely tell Robin loves mm. this type of super strong beat because uh, mm -hmm. that's definitely been very consistent so far. It makes sense. Obviously, she wants something you can like perform the crap out of. So I get that yeah. she wants something super high energy. Uh, I will say, I actually think Eve and Lil John's parts are the best parts. <laughs> like, 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 Eve yeah. has awesome moments. I love her yeah. raps. Uh, and Lil John, you know, he's giving the energy. You know, he's like the DJ in the back, like screaming, uh -huh. which I think works in this case because it's about partying. And so yeah. I almost like look out for those parts more than I do the actual group's parts, I think. So yeah, the chorus, it's catchy. I think it's slightly annoying. But I, again, I kind of see what they were going for. Mm -hmm. um, the first verse, though, is nice. Like, that's where you can really hear the kind of Carrie Hilson yeah. influence. Because Carrie yeah. has a really nice voice. It's always kind of delicate. Yeah. But then she's singing about, like, nasty things. Um, oh, yes, nasty so things. So it's always just a nice balance. Um, and then oh, Lauren yeah. comes in and there's way more energy. So there is kind of a build with the way the vocals are done. Production-wise... Uh, 
It's okay. I think I do like the long synths in the background. There is oh. a lot of tension because it does kind of feel like you're like building up to like this big explosive party mm -hmm. moment. And then the final course gets almost a little ethereal and dreamy, which, you know, I guess that's when you're like super drunk. That's when you're kind of just like, ooh. Um, ooh. So that's kind of what I was <laughs> getting out of that. So I guess that's cool. Um, mm. But yeah, you know, the lyrics, it's just like the whole glamorizing, the throwing up and all that stuff. Like, I'm sure Bruh. I wonder if they tried to get Bruh. Patron to like sponsor this and they were like, uh, this Bruh. is too trashy. <laughs> that bothered me. I'm like, at the end of the night, I'll have you. What the heck? No, no. <laughs> Pretty girls don't do that. Don't sit there and say I'm gonna make it throw up. Like if it happens, it happens. Put that in a verse. Like, not a chant. And you vamped it. That's what makes it worse. They vamped it. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I was I was pretty young and impressionable when the song came out. Mm -hmm. It is so funny looking at these girls now. They're like they're like all mothers, and like I'm now kind of around the age where some of them were when they started. I'm like, oh, I get it. <laughs> Because when I was younger, I was just like, oh, tequila. But yeah, so I, I, I didn't, I didn't think I was, again, too adverse to it because it was, now that I look at who's wrote, written the song, it's Esther Dean. I can hear, that's my song, tequila. That's the way she got to deliver. I mean, she was doing a lot of music. Mm. Um, and I'm like, oh gosh. And then the Polo de Don kind of production I was used to hearing because he was doing a lot of like stuff for, um, for uh, Carrie at the time, at like right. Carrie Hilson. So I like the production, and, and and you're right. Robin seems to really like the whole stomping and drums and the bump and the bump, because this is very, like, drum-heavy as well. There's a drum pattern that leads this song. There's a drum pattern that leads, uh, like me, mm -hmm. and go, keep going, you know, predecessors and such like that. So, yeah, I, I, I appreciate that she tried to have, like, a EDM spin-off. I can't lie. The way this is all going, it's like you have Applebee's, Chili's, <laughs> 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 like, all spin-off kind of restaurants. They are kind of the same umbrella. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the European EDM girls. Um, I will say Kelly, the black girl. Um, we haven't listed anybody's, like the members' names or anything like that. But Kelly, that girl, I don't even know if she can sing. She... <laughs> I think she's released a solo song, though, actually. I'm so sure we'll... she's very talented. <laughs> but, you know, in, 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 in yeah, pure... Yeah, she's even there. Yeah, in pure girl group, American girl group fashion. And based on, I think based on like what they were trying to go for, like sonically, the other girls' voices do fit that EDM sound that was kind of popping at the time with that very like high pitched in your face, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, even, even, and Char, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the other girl, man, mm. the, the Filipina, I was like, does she have anything to say? Cause <laughs> unless you're watching a live performance, she didn't do anything. And I'm like, what did y'all sign up to do? No. Yeah, those two but, are barely in the video too, which we'll get to, but yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think this song was interesting. You got Lil John yelling. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. Woo, boy. Like you said, he's in the bob in the back. And I think Carrie probably could have done this song because it definitely sounds like something she would have done. But I think there's a lot more trash pop, um, like you were saying. Um, and they're not vocally untalented. Like Chelsea had just come off the girl, the girlicious like spinoff show from them the next pussycat doll so they were just kind of filling in slats of girls that they already had very much like how k-pop does it like we already have a trainee in the back she can hit these notes and chelsea held it down but wrong she... <laughs> yes she did <laughs> she's great her voice is so amazing. good amazing yeah <laughs> this had me weak so she said but wrong i was like girl <laughs> so when like her verse was so good and then you get into this freaking chorus and i'm like oh the melody's not strong enough um, but yeah, she was eating it up. Even Lauren, <laughs> she sounded pretty decent, but there's a lot of processing on her voice. And Aria yeah. as a vocalist is very like na 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 nasally. And it was just mm -hmm. like, yeah, I can go on. But you know, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> but I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so our final player is GRL with Ugly Heart. Player four. So this was actually their second single. Um, luckily they actually <laughs> got a second single oh god yes <laughs> so anyway after members started leaving the pussycat dolls around 2011 robin anton began holding auditions for new members but ultimately decided to just create a brand new girl group which ended up being grl uh and we're just pretending the parodies of girls never happened because that was just a major fail <laughs> so ugly heart was done by ryan baharlu esther dean dr puke john charles mons and circuit and the song did achieve a lot of success, 
hitting mm-hmm. charts all around the world, including Australia, the UK, and across Europe. Esther Dean is back. Um, and you can hear it too. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now that I'm getting a little bit more familiar with Esther Dean as a songwriter, I'm like, oh, I can hear her singing this demo and eating it up. Um, I like this song. Mm-hmm. I think production-wise, it's not my style in terms of like the I can't, I can't with the ukulele, the ukulele sound. I cannot. That's just my personal preference. Um, yeah. And I think around the time this song came out, I was already kind of so deep into K-pop. I was doing my like, but it doesn't sound like K-pop in my. I was in that phase of, mu- of my music yeah. listening. Um, so I was. I just think like, I might have been too, actually. Right, right. Yeah. So it's just like when you start hearing some other stuff, you're like, hang on, I, I gotta listen to Western groups. Okay. Uh, okay, let me. So, um, go all 2011, good year, especially for those 21, naming every date before they sang their music. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, it was something that I didn't really like, like at first. But the reason I actually did pay attention to the song was because Simone Battle was in this group, and I remember seeing her mm. um, on X Factor, and I thought she was freaking amazing there. Amazing. And the way they edited her audition. It made it seem like they hated her, but they she did it. They didn't hate her. Just that she was just a young girl with just a lot of energy. They didn't hate her though. And I thought, wow, she can really sing. sing. And she actually sang When I Grow Up, when she auditioned. So again, it just all kind of just goes down this weird pipeline of like, hey, you sang the song before you want to be in a girl group? Yes. Um, but yeah, I think she's kicking it off with her. Her voice is so good. All of her voices are good, actually. The, I would say, the line distribution must skip a generation because <laughs> they finally got lines. Girl, mm-hmm. this is traded lines. But mm-hmm. in Paradiso Girls, you're like, who's singing? Is it the same one? This one, you're like, okay, this is a different voice. Um, you have um, all of these girls with very, not similar voices, but similar enough where they can actually switch each other's parts, which is good. All right. So you get a second, you get second verse, second pre chorus, you have. Emmeline singing it or um, Natasha singing it. Um, I think Paula's the only one that's singing in the bridge. And I'm not sure if she's like a sanger singer, but she came around in the bridge, gave it that little whisper, okay, I pray. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it was good. It, it was good. So they were mm-hmm. all solid. So I definitely appreciated the, how they sound. And that's what kind of brought me around. Um, that chorus, though, when I heard it, honey, I left the song alone. Years later, got into Little Mix. Yeah. And, the, you know, so what do you think about that? Because, I mean, like, music and copyright and all the other good stuff and infringements yeah. and, you know, plagiarism. I hear it. Fun, I hear it. I mean, <laughs> I, did, I actually just listened to them back to back, you know, when yeah. we were preparing for this just because I yeah. wanted, you know, a fresh, uh, a fresh take on it. And mm-hmm. definitely the chorus is very chant-like. Yeah. And the um, melody is a little similar. I think yeah. the Little Mix one is a little more melodic. There's just a little more going on with it, I think. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. The GRL one is more of kind of a, a, a yelling kind of chant. Yes. Um, but I totally get it. But yeah, GRL in general, the whole thing just sounds a little grittier. Mm-hmm. So I get the comparison, but like, I don't think it's like a complete derivative. Yeah. 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 One's like driving down with the top with the top down and the other one's like kind of like protesting bad guys yes. and i and i felt that so yeah i think vocal delivery and the way their their voices sound as a group or even separately mm-hmm. ooh, yeah. strong vocals and i really wish like you know things worked out and panned out well for them because you yeah. know like, they were it was still a very kind of... unlucky trajectory yeah, yeah. absolutely mm. yeah i will i will agree with you i think vocally super super strong um every time someone new sings it's like ooh, a new tone you know like something yeah. different and they're all uh, i think you know i don't know if how much robin is involved with the vocal production of things but you know i think you start off with girlicious where they're just like doing the absolute absolute <laughs> most and they're pushing so hard you have paradiso yeah. girls that are basically just yelling for most of it um and then grl you have a lot more range there yeah so yeah, yeah just a it's it's a nice moment um, I no don't mind feature. the kind of country <laughs> guitar stomping kind of mm, moment. Mm-hmm. I don't mind yeah. that. It actually yeah. kind of reminded me of Katy Perry a little bit. Like, I think this could be a Katy Perry song, which makes sense because oh, it's yeah. kind of a lot of the same. You know, yeah. she was a big Dr. Puke kind of artist at that time. Yeah. So it makes sense for sure. And this mix is so much better. This mix is probably the best out of the four. Uh, oh. It sounds super, super full. 
Yes. Um, and then the way it pulls back, you get like a really nice build with the snare drum rolls and the cymbals hitting with Simone's yeah. giant note. And then the last chorus oh, yeah. feels super anthemic as oh, well. Yeah. So it's yeah. a really, really nice build throughout the entire song. Um, and I love the lyrics as well. Yes, I love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super fun. And, you know, I think we all know these people, these very stuck up people that are also good looking, but are just so nasty inside that they're just very unattractive in every way. So that concludes round one, which was about the production and the vocals and the song itself. So what wins this round for you? Oh my God, no, I can't do it. You go first, please. Yeah, I think this is tough for me because I actually really like most of these songs. Uh, but I think I, I, I hate to be super biased, but I love Don't Ya. Like, I will never get sick of Don't Ya. It's so good. It deserves its place as one of the best girl group songs ever. It's just so much fun. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it in my entire life. I'm going to match you. I like Don't Ya. Don't Ya is good. Mm. Girl is just right, right behind them. I'll give them that right behind. Round two. So, Don't Ya's video. Can I tell you, Nicole is so hot. <laughs> mm-hmm. I look at that video and I'm like, she still looks really good. But when she was like, what, a little 20 something, she was fine as hell. All of them looked good. But she didn't know who was in the group. You just know it was some hot chicks. <laughs> um, and also, I loved, when I was younger, I remember looking at her and thinking, she's not white. No offense to anyone, but she's not white. And usually with pop girl groups, it's always a blonde hair lead or like a brunette. There's always like a pop girl that's just not what Nicole looked like. So I think that's also the appeal of why it was so like special because this was the age of like Maxim Hot 100. Like all these girl groups were like Maxim Hot. So it was pretty much like whatever you saw, what kind of media were you being fed? You would see like Paris Hilton in them or whoever. It was always blonde hair. The Playboy Bunny Mm. girls are all blonde. And then you see this dark haired, tan skin telling you you wish your girlfriend whatever she looks like looked like me oh my god um she was definitely a star and it stinks that the other girls didn't get a lot of shine but i do like that how they were styled in terms of like you know their personalities like you could kind of see like kim with her mohawk carmi with her red hair and jessica with her black ashley with ashley i could barely tell who it was and, I, and it sucks because you have so many like b-roll shots of random girls because you don't know who might get the axe Okay, it was giving like America's Next Top Model. It's like this way. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I, I, I loved the choreography. This one was one of the more chore- choreography heavy videos. And you can remember the step, touch, step, touch, hot like me. You can, you know it. And in the, the, the chest pops with the, the DJ scratch, you can remember all of it. And the, oh my gosh, like the whole like dirty arcade grungy like mm. whose house they were at but I wanted to be there like I'm at that age mm. now and I'm like where is that party um but yeah no I think this video was really fun and the chemistry what not the chemistry maybe like the the magnetism rather the charisma was definitely there with even with all the random girls I didn't know who was who you you wanted to keep watching it's definitely a simple concept but it's super super effective yeah. You know, I think the Pussycat Dolls and I think Robin in general, like obviously she's a dancer, so she understands what is needed yeah. to, to perform well. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, Nicole's amazing on camera, but all the ladies, including oh the gosh. ones that didn't make it in the group that were in this video, they all <laughs> do the absolute most that yes. they can when they know that they're on camera. And that's mm-hmm. a good thing in this case, because mm-hmm. I think when you're given this concept that is just kind of like, OK, you're in this house party. Oh my God. Yeah. That's it. Make yeah. it work. Um, totally. And you know, even Robin's in there too. And she's giving too. <laughs> Sliding on the know? wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's interesting watching it back. You know, they were all, as you kind of noted, they were fighting for their place in the group. And yep. even Nicole, she was kind of needing to prove why she was the center and yeah. the leader. And then the rest of them, <laughs> their place wasn't solidified yet. So it's yeah. kind of like you better give your absolute most every single hair flip, every single hip hit, yep. every smize, every chest pop. Like they <laughs> are putting their all into it. But I think that's what makes this video so great to watch as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also really like the way they did the color grading as well. Like obviously the yeah. house is kind of grungy. Yeah. But not gross. Like it doesn't look trashy. So oh, they did yeah, a good job right. with that. And then also like all the little pops of color, like you have Carmeet's hair, you've got yeah. some red lipstick, like the, just the way they did it where it's all relatively subtle, but again, is just, there's a lot to look at. 
Yes. And so yeah. again, it just kind of takes a simple concept and they've kept it interesting for this like four minute long song oh my that gosh, doesn't you... really go anywhere to be honest but oh the song God. itself is just yeah. so good that it's so good but wow. like yeah the build though isn't really there in the video no. or in the song so like no. they had to kind of keep it interesting and they definitely did that all right so player two big sexy hair it's the promo it's the sponsor <laughs> for <laughs> like me by girlicious what did you think of that video and it premiered at the end of the final episode of the CW show. <laughs> Which is so stressful and was indicative of why that video looks the way it does. Because there's no extra. In all the videos that we've seen, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about today, this is the most non-extra video. <laughs> budget was not there. Big Sexy Hair did not give them a big budget there. <laughs> <laughs> not at all you know it's crazy too they had no extra because they were being extra like this was the age of like <laughs> this was the age of like you got served the dance movies everyone's like throwing their hair and stuff like that like this was that era and it's so <laughs> apparent um wow okay where do i start with this um okay i'll be nice not even nice i'll just be like a little bit more start low and mm. start to raise the bar um okay you keep the pcd color palette right you have like the the kind of like sailory or like the striped socks, but this time it's a little bit more urban because they're wearing shorts and and tops with the the old English lettering of their names, and they're dancing more hip hop because this is not street jazz, this is hip hop, and you have to know you're doing a heel toe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting to watch the palette of the video because it looks like buttons, like there's a, it looks like the fight arena, and then the girls were in the back. Or in the box, like the PCD was singing buttons in the box, but you know, like the opening act. Yeah. And then the fight was going on with Girlicious. <laughs> I do like the whole idea of them being in a ring. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it would have, I think the video would have served a, a nice kind of like, it, it was a nice stage set for like a little dance battle between the girls. Like if I was a choreographer for that or like a video, a director for that, yo, have like a little dance off between two girls and two girls. Like try not to make it so obvious that you're putting like color and color, but like figure out a good combination of girls and her. Mm, mm, mm. It could just be fun banter. Um, it would have been. I think it would have been fun. But yeah. yeah, you can definitely see their their personalities. Like I said, no extras because they were extra. Okay. Um, Natalie Soto scenes. She's great. She started unzipping, ripping, <laughs> hair flipping, and popped. I was like, girl, where's your spine? <laughs> she was great. But again, I watched them. I was like, wow, I want to be those girls. And that's the point. At the end of the day, that's the point. Mm. You want to look at them and be like, I either want to be with that person or I want to be that person. Or are you like, oh, I hate that's disgusting. You, you feel one of those three things. Or you feel nothing at all, maybe four. But, um, but yeah, and I was like, wow, they're so cool. They're so pretty. And I want to do the heel toe with them and the strutting and the hitting and the so, yeah, I, I enjoyed the video. It was not great, but they were believable. So I'll take it. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> did what they could. You know, I think they were put in this, like, tiny, <laughs> tiny warehouse with the box <laughs> ring and we're like, go for it. Because even the lighting that you can see, it looks so cheap. <laughs> it's just like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. CW didn't give you guys anything or no. Big Sexy Hair didn't either. Um I will say I do enjoy the little moments of them each in the corners. I kind of yeah, wish we got a shot where all four of them were in their own corners. Ooh, and like, yes. if they actually had like two extras that could be like the towel people or the water people. Yeah. Just to like, and, and, and the whole thing was like, this show was a competition. So they could have kind of played on that, you know? So, like, so yeah, I completely agree with you. <laughs> there, there's a lot more that could have been done there, but it's okay. Because um, I agree <laughs> They did a good job, I think, the four of them. I think it's hard to go that hard all the time, right? Like, I imagine for this whole video shoot, it takes a long time to film these videos. And oh my they God, are, yes. I mean, I said people were giving their all in the Pussycat Dolls video, but this one, they were going at like 150. Like, yes. it was kind of insane how hard yeah. they're going. Um, so I really respect that. You know, like, you can feel how badly they want it. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Um, and also as a group, I do like how the four of them look as a group. They all yes. look completely different. Um, yes. They all do have their own lane, but mm -hmm. then they're also confident. And even if they didn't like each other, <laughs> they just do a good job of kind of showing some teamwork. Like when they all kind of come together at different yeah, moments. Yeah, the, the popping, yeah. Yeah, they did what they could. That, that, that's Felt it. They that. did what they could. They did a good job of what they had. 
Yeah. So <laughs> All right. So with with, with the next um, set of group of girls, mm. who's uh, yeah, you have Paradiso girls. Mm. Their video. Mm. Uh, like I said, line distribution skips a generation, and so does camera time. Apparently, um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy, all I saw was Aria, and I thought she looked great. I thought I was like, she's a smoke yeah, her show. short hair is awesome. Yes, yeah. and the and the belt over her red top with the boob. I was like, yes, mm, yeah. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go in. So couldn't tell who was in the group without B side B side shots. Like it was like, oh, clip of a hot girl. Who is that? Who is that? They're gorgeous, but who is that? The dance scene pissed me off because the lighting was not it. Lauren, and I <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's in the back, and she white. And I can't see her face. Like, yeah. why is the shadow cast that much? I can't see that girl. She's gorgeous. What are you doing? Like, things like that piss me off. Um, But I gotta say, also, not all these girls are dancer dancers. And if they are, it was just a little sloppy because there were some points where they were like, something in... There was this one thing that I kept doing the, 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 kept doing this weird, like, marching thing. I can't do it because my body does not want to do it. But <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Trump, I can't... I wish I could show y'all this little bit of... <laughs> Put a clip in, but her knees kept, her knees kept going up so high. I was just like, girl, she was like doing mountain climbers, but like standing up. That's how, <laughs> it was just, it was a lot, bro. Um, But yeah, oh God. They, they aren't like dancer dancers, right? Maybe they're like hot vocalists, but Kelly's a DJ, I guess. Cause she wasn't doing nothing except, yeah. Like I was like, no, what do you mean? Uh, yeah. What the, oh, uh, oh my God. I, hmm. But like I said about like the pussycat dolls, I see them and I'm like, I want to have a party like that. But there are no clubs IRL that looks like this. I hate music videos. They're such lies. Oh my God. This is, they look like they're having fun. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's on the <laughs> club. It's in a fist pumping on the thing. I will say Lauren missed her cue on one of those fist pumps. But you know, it was, it was fun. And I was like, I want to be at this club because no clubs that popping in real life. Um, except sorry, Poppy. Shout out to them because they popping. But yeah, um, I'm done. Well, what did you think of the actual concept of this guy that was like daydreaming about these women? Oh, I almost forgot all about them because of her, of, of Arya's high knees. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was, again, this is the era of Maxim Hot 100. Like, yeah. If you could sleep with this girl, would you? You mm -hmm. know, VH1 top 50 pop divas, you know, that's how I found girls allowed. Um, mm. But yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. He was basic as hell. The whole like orgasming on the bus, like I was, what's going on? Yeah, like, it's see? really sleazy and trashy. I thought, Extremely. Um, Extremely. and I get that, like you said, I, I, that was a thing back then. But it's just aged so badly. It's definitely giving like straight white man's concept. Oh my god, yes. You know, um, yes. like yeah. So like some of it is just it's just not very tasteful. Like when mm -mm. Arya's like in the bus, like touching herself yeah, and like, stuff. Like I was like, like ugh, like why? this is not. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so I didn't love that because I think it really made it look. It really cheapened the whole mm -hmm. thing. It cheapened the group. I think it yeah. cheapened Robin and her franchise as well. Like it's just all right. the choices I find a bit bizarre. Right. So yeah, right. all a bit gross. The party scenes are fine. I, I, I agree with you that all the dance scenes annoyed the hell out of me. Also, I mean, I not just it. because of the lighting, but just what happened to Robin's standards? Like, what? I am really, really confused. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know much about Paradiso Girls, so please educate me um, on, on this if you have more information. But Robin's whole thing was that She's a choreographer, like she yes. wants to find dancers, she wants to find performers. Yeah. And then you get these girls who, I mean, yeah, maybe you're right where all five of them are like really strong vocalists compared to maybe the past two groups that we just talked about. Right. But it's not like this song requires that. So then it's just kind of like, <laughs> then like, why do you need really good singers when you do a song that's about performance, but then they're not good dancers, so they can't perform it well. Right. I don't know. I find I'm just very confused by the whole thing. Yeah, because um, it, it, I, yeah, yeah, I think when I watched the video, I, I was like, oh, they're not really showing much dancing. You know, I want, I, but I guess yeah, I, I was like, oh, that's an interesting choice. And then I saw them perform it. And then I was like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> so we'll get to the performances in round three. But yeah, it was a lot of just writhing and like, <laughs> yeah, it's just not classy. Like, I think the thing is with 
the Pussycat Dolls, they were always yeah. classy about polished, it. Polished, polished, yeah. Yeah, and even Girlicious. That, yeah. It did get a little sleazier for Girlicious, but, you know, I think they were they were getting down. Like, it was hip-hop, yeah. and they were doing, like, a lot of grooves and stuff, so it was cooler. Yeah. This one was just sleazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Sorry. All Sorry. right, so player four is Ugly Heart. What did you think of that video? Okay, you know what? I do appreciate that each of the girls have their own style of this video, right? And I, and I think the whole premise of the, the, of the video is okay, but I'm not sure what they're going to jail for. So just being like really hot and like refusing to date. A well, ugly you see guy. it at the end. At the end where she goes, okay, so now you got an ugly heart. And I'm like, yeah, so the what? guy had tattoos all over him, and they were oh, arrested at a tattoo right, parlor. Right, so Tester they did parlor, that to him. Right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. right. See this, y'all? Usually the I'm better about this. The fact that you couldn't even understand it, though, is not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're new here to our show, I'm usually the one with the tin hat with the music video. <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay, so that means they did a bad job. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I appreciate you so much. Because for some reason, I just don't remember the guy with the tattoo on his, on his It was face. really remember... fast. They only showed him for like two seconds. Lame. At the end. Yeah. Lame. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I like the whole like criminal thing going. It's kind of cute. Oh, uh, because the song sounds like they're like, yeah, oh, this is our Riley cry. Uh, uh, uh. Feel that. Um, you know, Simone was like a revolutionary. Lauren was like a festival baddie. Um, Natasha was being fierce, but demure with the skirt. And Paula looked like a fashionista from NYC. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I didn't name all the girls. I get it. But here's the thing. They look so extra as their character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that was the sign of the times. Like, it was like, yo, show your personality really big, maximal, like, fashion. Like, how can you be maximalist without copying Lady Gaga? And things like this were, like, the norm. But it sucks because there's no semblance of, like, hey, we're a group. It's just random girls linked up together, no color to link them together, or any kind of, like, we're all wearing Louis Vuitton or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's bad. I do not, I do like the, 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 the jail scenes. Yeah. Those are cool. But I hate that the desk were so close. When they sit on the desk, they're so close to the ceiling where they're sitting there trying to dance. You got them, like, either doing it halfway or like can't stand up all the way their hands are up on the ceiling like this i'm like so kudos to them for sitting there trying to be sexy with those uh dry walls you know <laughs> but i have the same wall on my ceiling like it's just not it's not cute um but again they're they're believable um i do wish there were more dance scenes though other than them like writhing in the shower or like them dancing on top of the desk like the chorus i appreciate them showing that um, yeah, but i do yeah, yeah. i am curious to see what would have happened with you know, more more dance scenes in the certain areas, like them in the shower area for the bridge and then never coming back around. That was fun. But give me a stance where they're standing in the formation, kind of all doing something really sexy and slow together. But like you said about Paradiso Girls, when you when you watch the dancing, you're like, OK, I can I can kind of see why maybe. Mm. It wasn't I mean, a good they idea. were better. They're better dancers as a group than Paradiso Girls, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and, yeah. And we should know Lauren is in both of those groups as well. Yes. Yeah, so kudos yeah, yeah, so yeah. Lauren. But you know what? She was doing the um she was doing the uh, uh, LMFAO songs too. Get yes. us, get that. So she got a lot better vocally too. She did. Um yeah. So kudos to she all, did. all of them. All of them. Yes. Yeah. Um I will say after watching the last three, I appreciated <laughs> that at least this video had an attempt at an actual story. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I think I like the idea of, like, you don't really know why they were arrested until the very end, but the ending was just so not satisfying <laughs> and so fast that I just don't yeah. think the execution was great on that. Um, I agree with you on the styling as well. It just felt <laughs> a little forced because it just wasn't relatable. Yeah, yeah. I think. Like, yeah. it's kind of like, okay, like, like if you're dressed like that, like, I don't feel bad for you. I don't, I don't know. Like, I am crying. You're dressed with... like a bad girl. And so it's giving like young rebellion girls who are trying to do bad things on purpose to like have fun. So like, I'm not like. Yeah, no, no. Their first single was like that. Like the first single was so like childish. Oh, yeah. Well, that like, was for they're... like the Smurf soundtrack, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Okay, okay. 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 I'll give them that. But then it kind of <laughs> carried on where it's like you guys can just look like bratty girls that are just really stylish as opposed to like girls who are like heartbroken and strong about it it's like almost right, too strong right. yeah, yeah. Like, it, well it was strong in 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 like a sense that i didn't 
love. I don't know. It was strong in the sense like that I didn't character. want to like be on their side. It was a, oh, ooh, I wonder what these bad girls did at the tattoo oh, parlor. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 As opposed to, ooh, like someone wronged these girls. Yeah. And, like, so, that, and I think that's yeah. what it should have been because that's obviously what the song is about. So I just right. didn't love that. I, I think individually, they all did a really good job. You can definitely see the potential in this yeah. group for sure. Like yeah. give them a couple more videos. And I think I, you know, I've always said it's easier to do the absolute most and give 150% yeah. and then learn how to kind of pull it back and give right. yourself a lot of range that way. And yeah. And it's easier to do that than it is to like have someone who's just a bad <laughs> performer and try to pull it out of them. Right. Like as dancers, like that's always been the biggest struggle. Right. And yeah. so they're all doing again, the absolute most, which has <laughs> been the same thing that we've seen. So Robin Anton is, a, is she does a good job of pulling you know, yeah. performance out of people. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of these groups just didn't have a chance to actually like develop those skills and actually give some range to their yeah. ability. But yeah. I do think the five of them did well. I agree. I wish I, there were more proper group scenes because even in the lineup and mm -hmm. stuff, there's not really any mm -hmm. chemistry. It's just kind of like they're all just there. So yeah, you can't even tell if they actually like each other. Like I was watching right. some interviews and I'm like, these girls probably have some of the best chemistry mm -hmm. that all of, the, all of her groups have had. Yeah. Like the fact that they even try to stay together after everything that happened says a yeah. lot. So, yeah, me. So that concludes round two, the video. <laughs> yes, the video. What round. wins for you? Oh, dang it. I got to give it a don't you? I know it's really tough, right? I know. I really don't want to keep giving everything to don't you, but we won't. This video really is the best one. Yeah. Like, as objectively as I possibly can be without being biased. Like, yeah. it really is the most entertaining one out of the four. I think if GRL's concept was a little stronger or if it was executed a, a little differently, I think that mm. would win. For oh, me. I, was thinking, I was thinking Girlicious because I just, I feel like them as like a silhouette, I knew who was in the damn group. <laughs> I think the budget really killed it though. That's what killed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That being said, y'all, if you've made this far in this video, Hit that subscribe button. Please give us a like as well. And if you're listening, give us a follow and a, rava a rating. Five stars. Mm -hmm. um, but also, let us know what your picks are for each round because we are on the final round. And we want to hear what you have to say because, as you can see, we're having a hard time. So we want to know if it's a struggle for you. Drop those comments. <laughs> round three. So round three is where we talk about the performance and the choreography. Yes. So... The Pussycat Dolls. What do you think of their Don't Ship performances? Pussycat Doll performances were always so interesting, especially of Don't Ship, because like you said, the song goes absolutely nowhere in the production. But you, you know where it does go live? <laughs> Everywhere and back. It takes you to like R&B land, jazzy land. And even to gay club land toward the end. It's so, it's so fun. Um, <laughs> Nicole makes me laugh. You want to talk about just the song is boring. I'm about to do some extra stuff. She's one of those people who over sing at times. But when we were all growing up, we were like, oh my gosh, she's eating it up. And we look back with hindsight. It's like choices, make good ones. Um, but yeah, like her, she, her kind of doing this weird syncopated thing with the, I know you're lying, man. I know you do. Like she was doing things like <laughs> So it's just like, babe, the song just started. Use that for second verse. Um, and then um, you can kind of hear Melody trying to like, don't you wish your girlfriend was? So you can kind of see it. But like overall, aside from like the little silly things here and there, like Nicole's iconic bridge, um, <laughs> they were some serious freaking performers. And I think it is based on like their dance performance. Um, they're, they're, they're dancers, right? Like if you look, think about Sierra, people are like, ah, I don't know, all her songs like that. You can't say a girl couldn't dance. Like, you could watch a Janet. She, 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 Whitney, where she could dance. And they mm. always perform. They give you the body. They give you the face. We get, we get trained as dancers. You better give everything because you can't say it. So that's what those girls were doing. They knew, the, they knew what the words were about. And they held the mic, lip sync for their life, and danced. There was hair. There was eyes to each other, eyes to mm. the audience. I was like, sheesh, take my man. You can have him. <laughs> and I'll be right there behind him. Okay. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Um, but yeah, no, I think they, I think they did such a good job. And you can see, like, even with all of the craziness that was happening behind the scenes, be sure to check out our pop one on one. <laughs> um, with all the craziness happening behind the scenes, those girls knew when that 
track came on, shut up and go hard. Mm-hmm. And they did. So I, I will know. never get sick of watching them perform. Yeah. yeah. Especially don't you? I think yeah. actually like they all just light up when this mm-hmm. song comes on. Like the second that beat comes on, like even yeah. in all the later performances, like with the, you know, really sad reunion that we got. <laughs> like they killed all the performances of this song. And I think yes. as you mentioned, most of these members are dancers first. Yeah. You know, as we mentioned, the three of them aren't even on the song at all. And so that does allow them though to then perform the crap out of it. And the yes. choreography is so good. Mm-hmm, you can see mm-hmm. the burlesque origins. Yeah. But now there's some hip hop grooves in there. There's street jazz, sass mixed in there. Mm-hmm. And there's just so much intention behind every move. And the musicality is just so good. Yes. Like they hit little, they hit different parts in the production. Oh, yeah. Every single verse, like mm-hmm. every little bit of, of the song, they're doing different things. Like even in the bridge, which as we had, or as I had mentioned, I'm just kind of like, it's okay. You know, yeah. I know I'm on your mind, you're my... blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And like on the, on the recording, that's very boring. Yes. Right? But even just watching them all strut together, like as oh, a yeah. group. Mm-hmm. It looks so good. I'm not even yeah. counting Nicole coming forward and doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't blind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, they are just such good performers. And then yeah. I also really appreciate the way the formations are done also. Oh my gosh. You get a lot of nice levels. I like them all facing different directions for yeah. the for the chest pops. Um, yeah. It's just really, really dynamic. There's just a lot going on, but it's all very, very clean. Mm-hmm. And I love the dance remix transition yes. for the end because, you know, like you mentioned, <laughs> you need you need to pick it up. You know, yeah. the song only uh, does so much, and so it makes sense. Skip the third verse and just go into a way higher BPM and give that energy. Yeah. So very, very satisfying ending. As Absolutely. Well. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Speaking of like pumping up the energy, girl licious for their girl licious. <laughs> Yet again, doing the absolute most. Hang on, wait, wait. They came in hot and they, they stayed hot. And <laughs> you were so right. You know what, man? Listen, listen, wait. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me like two seconds. They were actually holding it down. K pop fans now talk about, oh, yeah, they can dance and they sing and the mics are in. Uh, their mics are not on. Girl licious. <laughs> Mics were always they were on. on. They were always on. You are yes. always on. And you make it a little bit of like a, oh, the auto is trying to process it. But you know what? After sitting there breaking your whole back, dancing like a stick of, a stick of cheese, it, 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 it went all, <laughs> <laughs> you will literally have to, well, you might have a hard time singing, but they didn't. And it's crazy because like the performance we're talking about was done for the troops. And they're wearing dresses, which is not the ideal thing to be performing in. Mm-hmm. That's not their. That's not their. That's not their bag. But they're wearing combat boots, so that heel toe still came through. You feel me? I was like, yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, man. When I tell you, I appreciate their energy. They're they they weren't as clean as PCD, right? Yeah. Like when they would clump together and dance, where um someone's arms would be two girls' arms would be up, two girls' arms would be down. The pops just didn't feel like they were like kind of leaning and leaning in that lateral way like it looks really like nice and neat it just looked like we're just popping like it just the certain weight shifting just didn't happen in ways that i know like ashley uh and 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 carmine and the rest of them would have done like they would have been here is the lean here is the leg we're all doing some type of dip with the they didn't mm-hmm. have that kind of cohesive um cohesion but what they lacked in cohesion they gave you a performance oh my gosh unless something was like completely wrong the face was engaged. The the hair flips. They gave it to you. They, they really sold that whole hip hop aesthetic. And I think because they did have members that are actually like black and Latino, mm-hmm. it helped. It helped. But it wasn't like them sitting there twerking and like, oh, yeah, which I appreciate as well. Again, I want to keep citing that 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 heel toe because I love it. <laughs> like that is just quintessential early 2000s choreo. Mm-hmm. Um, Tiffany coming out with that line. It's still hitting, still thinking the church, by the way. She sounded so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I got to give it up to all of them vocally, actually. Yes. Nicole sounds super strong starting yep. it off. And yep. she's doing the full choreo during her verse. She you is. Have Christina, so who good. was awesome. Like, she was her amazing. energy was so good. And she was doing what she needed to do. She went yep. around the stage. Yeah. Gave the crowd energy. She, she commanded was that one. energy more yep. from the crowd. 
And so yeah. she did a really, really good job with that. Natalie, yeah. she did what she could with the, that little talky bit that she had. <laughs> you, know? you can't tell her nothing. Yeah. Oh my mm-hmm. God. Yes. <laughs> and she was, she looked so good. She's such a good yeah. dancer. Yeah. Um, and she was killing it. And yeah, Tiffany, I love her tone so much. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she definitely was the most stable, I think, vocally out of the four uh-huh. as well. And yeah. so, yeah, props to them. Because I'm sure also, yeah, the troop performance, it's tough. I'm sure that crowd is tough. <laughs> it's like it's kind of an odd <laughs> place to perform at. And then even some other other, even some other other performances that they yeah. did, like they were all really, really strong and very, yeah. very consistent. consistent. So I have to yep. give it to them. They yeah. really did perform their butts off for right. sure and yeah it does make me sad because there was so much potential here exactly i think this is one of those things where it's like i think um just recently uh christina actually came out and said she was pregnant while she was on the show and had to you know kind of like oh, control wow. alt delete the baby um so it, it, yeah, they were dealing with a lot and the girls were all as they kind of kept progressing kind of just Unfortunately, we've been trying to talk yeah. about like doing a pop one on one on the show for the longest time. So if you want to see that, let us know. We're probably going to do it. I'd anyway. love to interview one of the girlicious women, actually. Oh my God. So, yes. Nicole, yeah. Natalie, let us know no. what you're up to. Please. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we love you girls. We do because they are definitely stars. I mean, I think because they all have such high energy, it wasn't like, oh, this one is the Nicole, this one's the Beyonce. No, they were all good. <laughs> also, yes, the choreography as well. There's mm-hmm. some really, really great grooves in yes. it. And even just like the musicality actually is really great for this choreography. Player three is Paradiso Girls with Patron Tequila. So they did have a couple performances with Eve. They had some, yeah. you know, a lot of like daytime performances, I guess, across Which is so the world. Weird. So okay. that was interesting. <laughs> Not too many performances to reference <laughs> with this. <laughs> But in the morning time, like it's five, it's five p.m. somewhere. Yeah. Like what? What's wrong? That's a tequila. tequila. You just waking up with your thing of coffee. Like what the hell? <laughs> just odd choices all around. Right. Absolutely bad ones. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Guys. Well, you mentioned Charmé not having <sighs> a single line in this song. Well, at least when Eve wasn't there, she got to do all the raps. So she got those moments, and she killed it. She was great. She was great. But then Kelly. <laughs> She's still nothing. the DJ. <laughs> Kelly got nothing. Right, Kelly, Kelly got didn't nothing. even get a, oh, yeah. Look at those legs, lips. Like, she could have said something. <laughs> like, like Flavor Flav, like, at least Flavor Flav was like, yeah, boy, like, come on. Like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but yes. um, I just have to say Chelsea sounded amazing and I think kind of saves the performances a little bit. As you mentioned, Patron. <laughs> Patron. <laughs> She sounded great. Okay. She she's sounded up. great. And she's, I yeah. think, probably the best performer of the five of them as well. I think she had a really strong presence all throughout. Yeah. Um, the rest of it, honestly, just felt very messy. <laughs> I, I, I think if the whole point was, we're, you know, we're party girls and like we like to get drunk, then I guess it works. That came in across. That, way. that yeah, definitely came- <laughs> is what came across. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. as we mentioned, they're not really dancers so no. it's just not clean at all like even no. the fist pumps aren't clean did you notice that some of them are hitting up some of them yeah. are going in a circle yeah some of, i was like oh my god you can't even clean a fist it's pump a- oh my god come on come no, on so right. like what happened to your standards robin Whoa, i don't geez. understand what happened because even if you're not dancers as we've seen from almost every other girl group right mm-hmm <laughs> You can at least make it look good. Chris, you're so right. And can I say, I feel so bad for <laughs> Lauren is probably like most improved, like superlative, like across the board. Like when we go and talk about DRL, she improved yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Oh, I completely agree. Yeah. Because <laughs> Lauren, we we're talking about a daytime performance they did, y'all. Lauren had pink roots. <laughs> Sorry. She had pink roots and she was the weaker dancer. I will say that. Mm-hmm. Um, and you are so right in terms of Chelsea holding it down because it sucks because she's had the most quote unquote training. She has been the longest trainee, right? She came in through the show. Mm-hmm. She came in with this group and she just kept working at it. I'm not saying those other girls didn't work at it. I'm not saying that at all. But she's the one who has the experience with dance with other girls like this. 
So she knows to kind of glance back. She knows that she has that. And I really do wish she would have gotten a little bit more. Mm. But also shout out to Charmaine because I think she actually can dance. Oh, yes, she or, can. She can. You know? Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, dang, it's like she was doing some shit at a kick at one point. She was giving it to me. And I'm like, girl, you are around the wrong people. But what's the, <laughs> here's the here's my kind of issue, though, with Charmaine, because I agree. I think she was great. I think yeah. she was definitely the. I'm going to look good and I don't care how you guys look because, you know, here's the thing, right? We're both dancers. We've danced with other, you know, I've been in crews, like you've been yeah. background dancers in groups, right? And stuff like that. Yeah. So like the whole idea is to like, you want to match the energy of the people around you so that you look good <laughs> as a group. Yeah. Charmé was like, I'm going to kill this choreography, <laughs> even though the two people next to me look <laughs> like crap. <laughs> Can I say, I was a Charmé back in the day. There's footage of me on the on <laughs> This been to be on the internet somewhere. I was I choreographed it. And I was like I choreographed it. So why can't I? You know that was my th my thinking. Mm. But yeah, I think Charmé had that moment. Yes, yeah. it um, was bad. And then let's talk about more of the vocals. vocals I mean, Aria yeah. sings almost everything because she's leading that chorus. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can tell she's trying to keep her face not scrunched up, singing this yelling. I mean, but it's, it's hard not to this chorus because it's high. It's up there. Yeah. And, and she's like trying to like jump and like dance at the same time. So props to her. She actually did a very, very good job. She did. No, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Because it's tough to belt like that while <laughs> jumping and doing all those hip rolls and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, just um a tad messy. But again, yeah. you know, this was their first single. Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. give them a bit more time. I think they would have been a lot more polished they did. Um, um, um not not my i mean not your oh, who's that bitch or who's that yeah who's my i like that, that song one. was awful it was terrible i listened to it last night i was like <laughs> how did i like this for so long i was like it's a good song let's <laughs> like it and kelly did not sing in that either <laughs> no. kelly um i will say there is one daytime performance where they did do the remix at the end kind of a call oh, yeah. back to the don't you days yeah so i appreciated I mean, that you know uh, that helped i think to give the song you know a nice conclusion <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the performances are messy as hell. Now, getting on to something that's a little less messy, but with the same member, Lauren, again, coming through in the rear with her most improved award. It's GRL. Girl. With Ugly Heart. This kind of goes back to what I was saying. Like, them, they don't look like a girl group. And I'm just like, oh, this is so, they're almost there, right? Like, I love their silhouette. Their mm -hmm. vocals are there, but just they don't look like a girl group yet. And also, I can see why they weren't so like dance heavy as well, because there's a little like moment in the beginning where they're like dancing and everyone's kind of hitting this cute little move. And then, <laughs> Not, is her name Emmeline? Yes. Yes, Emmeline E, if you will. She starts doing this little <laughs> shit. And I was like, <laughs> it's little things like that. I think they were a lot more together, but you can see like weaker members like here and there. Yeah. You know, so I appreciate like it got better as it went along. Like it's not as polished as PCD. It's not as, you know, cheese sticky as um, <laughs> Girlicious. And it's not as sloppy as Paradiso Girls. So I appreciate that the girls actually tried, but it was actually pretty basic. You know, like step touching, step touching. Yeah. And I hate that they were dancing in Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Those chunky heels. Yes. A lot of the performances like, they're wearing. You can tell um, it looks very uncomfortable to dance in. Bro, and it kills me because you're sitting there worried about not dying while you're dancing and you have to hit notes like this. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, dang it. Like, Emma's not a bad dancer and 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 um Natasha's not a bad dancer, but they're in such high heels with terrible, like, balance mm -hmm. that they're, like, looking super stiff mm -hmm. or they're going to tip over when they're dancing. So I'm yes. just like, I just attack them and just attack them. It's just like, what are you doing? Stop. And then I look at their feet. I'm like, oh, that's why you're doing that. Um, I will say that... The choreography wasn't as, like, iconic or memorable, you know? And that's kind of, you know, the thing. It's more put together, but it wasn't, like, memorable. Vocally, say, vocally speaking, I don't think that they were purposely trying to rely on the backing vocal, but that thing was loud. I'm like, did y'all just send the CD over? Like, whoever did it is a jerk. I don't know what the <laughs> heck was going on. But I feel like they didn't have a performance track ready, and I wish they would have. I wish they would have had a band track. I don't know. Mm. I just feel like it could have been a little bit more less, less like super good girl group doing a talent show like Cheetah Girls. Like, oh, they're great, but it's giving talent show, you know? Yeah. Uh, but no, honestly, all, all together as a group, love their silhouette. Their chemistry is actually there. Choreography, even though it's super simple, at least it's clean. 
So I yeah. think it's a pretty decent, but it's like B plus, B minus kind of quality, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. I think I think as we mentioned with Paradiso Girls, it was kind of tough to find performances that we could kind of put the four of them on the same lane. Because obviously, you oh, know, yeah. PCD had a lot more opportunities. They got to perform on like, you know, award yeah. shows and stuff. And yeah. GRL got some big performances as well. They got like on yes. X Factor Australia, like yes. they got to do bigger things. And I did, to be fair, that performance, the backing track was much quieter. But I think just to kind of keep them all in a leveling field, I think we're just going to refer to kind of the more daytime kind of stuff yeah. that they did. All four of these groups yeah. did. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think from yeah. what you can hear over mm-hmm. the backing track, they actually yeah. do sound pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. you know, you mentioned Lauren most improved. She sounded so much better singing this yeah. song than she did uh, Patron Tequila. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think even Paula, who, as we mentioned, she is a dancer first. She yes. sounded good on her little, you know, alto moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, they all have a good presence as well. You know, this mm-hmm. you still see Robin's training here. You know, they yeah. do a good job of, you know, they know what to do when they're on camera. Right. So I do appreciate that. Right. Um, yeah, with the dancing, mm-hmm. there is, again, this kind of like hip hop influence. Oh. But then mm-hmm. their outfits and stuff just don't really... Reflect go that. with that yeah I reflect yep. that so then they're like opening their knees and like kind of like Whoa, getting down on things that. and it's like oh like first off it doesn't match the song because no. it's like a country pop influence yes. stomping song oh <laughs> and then also they can't really do it in these outfits that you're putting them in so it just look, ends up looking awkward so i actually don't mm-hmm. think the choreo is that bad i actually think yeah like i like the little ugly hard like with the, yeah. the fist up um it's the and, styling that's not lending itself yeah, it toward just like all come together yeah, it just didn't like, really match. You know? um, like, I liked them all, like, pointing their guns in different directions at one point or, yeah. or whatever. Like, there were little moments that were good, and there are some good formation changes and some interesting mm-hmm. staging mm-hmm. choices. Like, they're in a diagonal yeah. at one point. And, like, yeah, yeah there is stuff happening. Yes. Um, again, I think it's just they're not there yet because they're so new. And I guess with they Pussycat were, yeah. Dolls, you know, a lot of them had performed in the dance troupe, so... They, their training was just, and their chemistry had more time, I guess, to kind of come together as mm-hmm. opposed to these other three groups. So mm-hmm. it's kind of a little unfair, I guess, to compare it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do still think, you know, I stand by what I said earlier. There is a lot of potential here. Like this is in line with us watching, you know, the first few Girls Aloud performances, the first yeah. few Saturdays performances. Like, you know, yes. it always starts off a little rough and this is only their second single. And yeah. I think they did a good job given the context of everything. Yeah, you're so right. But you're still like, oh, yeah, they're going to be so good. And, you know, yeah. unfortunately, things turn out the way they did. But, mm-hmm. you know, um, it's a shame. But that concludes this round, the final round of performances. So mm. and I choose Girlicious. I've been wanting to give them something for a minute now. And I think as the line distribution, the dancing, they may not be as polished. But all mm-hmm. the kind that they went through, they got on stage and they did their thing. Mm-hmm. All right. And I and personally for me, I think because like I probably would want to be in this group. Like I'm thinking like, well, what group would I want to be in? Even I would want to dance with them. I would want to sing with them. I think they're fun. Um, uh, and I and I do again, I wish things would have turned out a little bit better for them. Cause I have a soft spot. <laughs> but yes. uh but yeah, definitely I think I think I'll give it to them. I think so. Cause PCD don't get everything. <laughs> yes. I vote for Girlicious as well. I love them and I actually I don't think you'd see in my notes like later on but I actually no. said the same thing I said I have a soft spot for Girlicious and I love their first album I love their second album um I went down a YouTube hole earlier this week when we you know were planning for this episode I watched fan cams of them performing yes. Maniac like in a tiny club like yeah. I just went down the hole and I thoroughly enjoyed it yeah. Because they are so good. And it makes me so sad that the U.S. <laughs> yeah. was never here for them. Right. Absolutely and I wish not. they had gone to Europe. I think they would have had a chance if they went to the U.K., honestly. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I digress. Robin, yes. you did what you could <laughs> with your resources um, that you had, but did I'm still sorry. make some very questionable choices. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah, it's rough out here in these streets. Yeah. So who did, you compare, where, who did you compare Robin to? I said Robin is kind of like the the Lou Pearlman of girl groups. Like she could make a girl group, you know, he, with oh, Mr. Mr. Pooh Perman. Um. Anyway, um. You know, Backstreet and what uh, NYC, 
and sync. <laughs> <laughs> And sing, and then the and then the list keeps going on, and I mean it does get a little diluted as you continue, but that's kind of what happened with her girl group. With her, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It gets diluted, bad business dealing, some other shady things where members are like, "Hey, she kind of was using PCD as a front." So un- unfortunately, both in business and in creative purposes, she kind of matches Pooh Perman, um, Pooh Perlman, excuse me. Um, but not my business. We're not here to talk about any of that drama. All of it's very unfortunate. And I wish it never happened to anyone. Um, but I just think in terms of like business and music, I'm just like, wow. We haven't had somebody like keep pumping out girl groups, pumping out acts like this, except in K-pop. So it's kind of refreshing to kind of go back down memory lane, a memory lane, excuse me. And it's such a shame that the PCD thing didn't happen. And and it sucks because all these girls and these crazy like, yeah, ah, uh, sexy girl groups are now like reformed Christians. And we can't even be like, hey, listen, do you want to talk about your days? Because they're like, nah, the devil's music, which sucks. Because <laughs> we're like, Wait, you don't like it no more? Okay. Okay. You know, so. <laughs> but when we get bigger, we're going to get them on the show. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get them on the show. Yes, please. I would love to talk about Girlicious. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. You know, I think at the end of the day, yeah. putting aside all the shady business dealings, right. Robin, right. she knows what makes a good girl group. I think yeah. all four of these have elements of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they all had a lot more potential. Like even Pussycat yeah. Dolls, who are actually one of the biggest girl groups ever. Yeah. You know, sales wise and stuff. Just two albums. But they could have been even bigger. They could have been even better than they were if right. some of these businessy things didn't happen. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I have a soft spot for Girlicious, like I mentioned. Yeah. I, I have a soft spot for GRL as well because I see and feel the potential. Yeah. And so it's a little sad, I think. Not you treating Paradiso like the middle child. Sorry, Yo, Paradiso. I didn't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> as a as a huge European girl group right, fan. Right. This that says a lot. Like that says not a lot. It. No. Sorry. Um, but anyway, as a final winner. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's um, tough. I think, okay, as a final winner, I mean, I think for me, it's clearly between Girlicious and Pussycat Dolls. Same. I think this is not my favorite Pussycat Doll song. Um, I think they actually get better kind of later on, even despite it being their biggest one. So actually, I think overall, I'd give it to Girlicious. My overall winner, I keep singing you, you in my head. Ooh, 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 Girlicious. I keep singing you, 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 do you. <laughs> but it's Girlicious for me too. Yeah. I mean, especially with, you know, the fact that all four of them can sing and like they're all like on the same level. I don't know. Yeah. I think they're just great. And Like Me was great and deserved better. Yeah, it did deserve better. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, well, let us know what you all think. If you're a PCD fan, Girlicious fan, Paradiso Girl fan, apparently the Chrissy doesn't know why, um, or if you were a girl. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, joking. Because, yeah, I, I think I was, you had to be really young and impressionable, <laughs> like I was, to have been like a huge fan of them, I guess. Um, I'm totally joking. But no, let us know what you guys all think of this. If you feel like we're crazy, tell us why you think we're crazy, but say it in a nice way. Um, let us know what you think about the tracks and what wins the pop off for you. What's your favorite Robin Anton group and why? And of course, feel free to message us at CCTV Pops on all social medias. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any ideas for more pop-offs, you can get priority choice by joining our crew on Patreon at patreon.com slash CCTV Pops. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our YouTube channel. And if you are enjoying the show on a podcast platform, please give us a follow rating and a review. Until next time, oh, that's Chris. That's Shan. <laughs> And we're signing off from CCTV, the NASA Pop Show.